All right. We're good. Hey, virtual fitness world. Coach Scott from CrossFit Durable, who is now only virtual. Virginia governor just shut down all non-essential businesses, so we are in that virtual space. Hopefully everybody by now has got accustomed to uh, working out from home. If not, and you're just joining us, cool, welcome. Today's workout is gonna be five rounds. You're gonna do 60 dot hops. Literally put something on the ground to establish your dots. I have three cones. In any shape or form you want, just hop at each point 60 times, staying light on your toes. 60 there. Then you got 40 sit-ups. Us at CrossFit, we're gonna do a little bit more of a butterfly style, so we're gonna have our hips opened. Really just kind of pulls your hip flexors out of the way. Coming all the way down. I don't think I can make it here, but you get the idea. All the way down, all the way back up. If you'd like, you can anchor your feet under the couch, under a chair, under weights if you have them. Come down, come back up. Right? If full range isn't your ability just yet, I'm gonna have you guys just do crunches. Arms straight up, come out, get that engagement. Come right back down, support your neck. Hands behind the head, and come right back up. Next movement, push-ups. Three variations. One's gonna be from the toes, strict push-ups. Chest touches the ground, coming all the way up. Next variation, drop to your knees. Keep your weight shifted over your shoulders. All the way down, all the way back up. Next option, we bring your body weight off the ground. You guys can use a chair, you guys can use the stairs, anything that's gonna bring you off the ground. Ideally, I want you to stay on your toes so we can get that core engagement, but there's no problem going from the knees if that's where we need to start. Allow yourself to fall all the way down, make contact, and come right back up. Do not come down and rest, go loose, and then try to push back up. Keep that engagement in the shoulders. New movement. You're gonna be doing a reverse burpee, okay? I'm gonna show you guys how to scale this one appropriately, and what you're gonna do is you're gonna bring the ground closer to you to help scale this movement. But essentially, you're gonna be rolling backwards and getting back up. If you guys have kids at home and they have gymnastic mats, you're good to go. If not, the bench will be a good substitute. So all you're gonna be doing, you're gonna be rolling back to your shoulder blades, all the way back, coming forward, and stand up. A little bit of hip mobility. So if keeping myself in that square position ain't happening, again, we're gonna bring the ground closer to you. Obviously, I can fold this, bring it up higher. My bench is a great substitute as well. So if you have one at home, you're gonna sit down to here, roll back, roll forward, and stand back up, okay? A little bit of gymnastics movement in here. Have some fun with it. If it's the first time you've ever done a reverse burpee, make sure you film it because it's gonna be hilarious and we all wanna see it, okay? Have a fun workout, enjoy it. We'll see you tomorrow.